process for us was at that point in time defined by how many ethnologists would like to, you know, do, uh, buy this idea and go to the rural areas and provide their services there. So all these things uh, put together, uh, I think, uh, for us was the, uh, you know, chance encounters uh, that also happened on the way. And uh, one of those chance encounters was with, uh, when we met uh, Professor uh, uh, Professor Benita and we started this internship program. Now how things would change, I would like to share an anecdote that once we developed to that scale, healthcare is a pretty serious business and we were seriously doing our thing. So after this internship program started, the first time the young interns with youth and migrants walked into a corporate office full of doctors, nurses, technicians and... Uh, that your pricing should be affordable. If your pricing is not affordable, even if your technology is fine, your capacity creation is fine, but somehow or the other, your pricing is uh, out of tune with the affordability considerations of vast number of people, then the scale of operations will be small, economies of scale and economies of scope will be difficult to be exploited, and therefore, the business cannot grow further. Third thing is, the books are telling. I am not telling, sir. I am only reproducing. The books are telling that uh, you have to continuously innovate. You have to continuously innovate to reduce your cost of production. You have to continuously innovate to achieve a 10% capacity utilization. It's very important that we step into a culture where you have to, and especially for the students who are going to be passing out uh, in 2024, 25, uh, what organizations look for in terms of the business is authenticity. That is there. Uh, second is uh, timelines, discipline, and uh, how you can think out of the box. That is one important factor every organization looks for. So, and you know, I, I genuinely believe, you know, with, uh, with my experience in the industry, I feel leadership is about storytelling. And if you're talking about the future, if you are not a good storyteller, trust me, you're not a good leader. If you look at leaders in the past, if you look at leaders in the present, if you look at leaders in the future, in the post-pandemic world, your storytelling skills have to be impactful. If you look at your phones right now, everybody has a phone on there. You look at your phones, your applications, WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook. They have 30 second stories. Why not 45 seconds? Why not one minute? What's the reason for that? Because they know the human mind cannot take more than 30 seconds. Technology is trying to control you. What you need to do here as leaders, and I believe leadership is about storytelling, I also believe leadership is about emotional intelligence. Uh, you know, we've got some very interesting panels. We spoke about the art of giving and receiving, right? I think emotional intelligence and storytelling, when they marry together, you know, artificial intelligence should be there, but storytelling is always going to work. I am a management consultant by profession, so every year I would be, I think, incorporating around 40, 50 companies, uh, businesses on behalf of other people who are wanting to turn entrepreneur and uh, I think one thing that clearly distinguishes a successful business from everybody else is the vision of the entrepreneur. What the entrepreneur is thinking actually. So most of the times you meet people, they have a good business idea but there is no vision. And an idea without a vision is a recipe for disaster. Even if so you want to sell a one rupee toffee in the market, you would be thinking, hey, yaar, one rupee toffee is something that 1.4 billion sale. Ho <laughs> but is it easy to sell that one rupee toffee in the market? Easiest thing to say. So, an entrepreneur who is able to accumulatize himself to the market and has a vision which is to reach an ultimate goal over a period of time 
uh, I generally see those people hanging on and eventually succeeding.